So I'm having some trouble getting up this morning because every time I even attempt it, my snooze button hits me. So Tabitha, don't you think it's time for us to get up? We have to get up. <laughs> we have to get up. We have to start our day, Tabitha. Is it okay? She just, she just needs another minute. I hear a teapot. Yeah, you do. What's wrong? This is not the same thing as morning. This morning is off. What are you drinking? Tea. Like an animal. I'm telling you right now, I'm not happy. Maybe you should move to England because then you could drink tea every day. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, recipe videos. Sometimes we do vlogs. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so it is week two of our reverse diet challenge and if the challenge wasn't difficult enough i've added a new element to it which is i'm trying to detox off of my coffee addiction i just want to go on record as saying I had nothing to do with this. Nothing to do with this. I didn't tell her to do this. I didn't say, hey, coffee's making you gain weight. I, she just woke up one day and she's like, I'm quitting coffee. Well, I mean, I want to detox and then put coffee in its proper place. Like be able to have a cup, you know, maybe once or twice, maybe three times a day, but not two pots of coffee a day. Can somebody come move in with us and protect me while she's going through this detox? Because it is not fun to live with. This hasn't been great, but I know it's necessary. Yeah, because, I mean, Rachel really was got to the point where she was literally drinking like two to three pots of coffee a day. But tea... So before we start our day, let's go over our macros that we have for this week. So for me, I've got 2,170 calories, 173 grams of fat, 123 grams of protein, and 15 carbs. And I've got 1,554 in the calorie arena, 128 grams of fat, 85 grams of protein, and 15 carbs. Cool. So one thing I did want to say with this, so when I was talking to Robert, because he wants to make sure that we're hitting our calories, normally we don't really care about, like, if you hate you're 50 calories short, 100 calories short, something like that. So when you look at our macros and you've got your fat, your protein, and your carb ratio, he said, if you don't have all of those carbs, eat that much more in protein. Okay. So like the, the goal is make sure we're hitting the fat and then on the protein and the carb, those should equal the rest of our calories. All right, nice. So if I only eat, say out of my 15 carbs, I only eat five carbs then I'm going to take the other 10 that I would have eaten and add that onto my protein. So instead of eating 123 grams of protein, I'd be eating 133 grams of protein for that particular day. Oh, wow. So it's kind of interesting. It's a way to make sure you're hitting like all of your calories and stuff because again, the whole purpose is we're trying to increase our calories every single week, which we will talk about a little bit later. So what do you have on your agenda for today? First up is a bike ride because I need to just make it happen. Okay. And yeah. And I actually slept in today. Yeah, a little did. bit. I slept until seven because for the last two days I've been getting up at four thirty to do work and like get my mom to surgery and stuff. And so I was like, I know I need more sleep. So Except for the alarm still went off at five thirty and then we had a snooze button. Sorry. <laughs> then we had a large furry snooze button. So um for me I've gotta go do some cutting. I have a game with Anthony later. We have a JV game. And then um, also somewhere we're going to do some filming. I came up with a replacement for the Real Good Foods um, jalapeno chicken poppers. Don't kid yourself. I created one. There are more balls. And, and mine are really good. I'm going to leave a link in the for the recipe in this video 
even though the video's not up, the recipe's already on our website. Awesome. And also, I figured out a way, if you look at your chronometer um, for the day, because I've already got all the food you're going to eat in there. Yeah. You're probably short about 50 calories. Okay. You want to know what the other 50 calories is for? We're going to do a review on the last real good thing that we haven't tried yet. Oh my gracious. Okay, I'm keeping an open mind. Open this mind. I'm keeping an open mind. This is going to be the one. I don't think so. This is going to be it. You know why I don't think so? Don't say that. A quick story before I head off to work. So I had a coupon for this for free. It wasn't a buy one, get one free. It was a free one. Okay. And it came in one of our crates. So I'm in Publix and I'm looking and I'm buying and... um. Yeah, this little, how do I say, this little old lady, I mean, she had to be in like her 70s, walks up to me and she sees me grabbing this out of the freezer and she's like, don't buy it. I'm like, what? And she's like, don't buy it. I'm like, Why? what? And she's like, they're terrible. And I'm like, I have a free coupon. Like my wife and I do a YouTube. She's like, it's not worth the free coupon. Don't buy it. Oh my goodness. And then she's like, well, if you're going to buy it, are you at least going to put a negative review? I'm like, well, I'm keeping an open mind. She's like, there's no open mind to keep. They're terrible. Gracious. <laughs> but we're going to keep an open mind because yeah. I actually got the margarita flavor. This is the cauliflower crust pizza. So we're not going to review this on today's vlog, but we are going to film the review for us. And then you guys let us know down in the comment section if should we even bother releasing the review video of it or do you not want to see it? <laughs> we'll check in with you guys later. So we're at the gas station. We filled up the mower. I'm filling up the truck right now. Anthony is inside getting his uh, drink and his breakfast. And I'm going to run in and get a coffee. I'm super proud of Rachel because she hasn't been drinking coffee for the last couple days. And I feel like if I brew some coffee in the house, it's going to trigger her to want to drink some herself. And she's trying to see how long she can go without having any coffee. Because like I said, she's been drinking like almost three pots a day sometimes, at least two pots a day. So I'm proud of her for weaning off the coffee. So I'm going to go get my coffee and I have my Perfect Keto MCT powder. This stuff is great. It gives me a lot of energy to start the day. This is the salt salted caramel flavor and I actually just keep this in the car this way I can always just stop somewhere and get coffee I see Anthony in the back there uh, also uh, because we're almost at 5,000 subscribers Justin from Perfect Keto is giving us a 20% off of $40 or more purchase it's going to be good for 48 hours only starting today I'm going to put the exact date right here below and the coupon code is 2crazy20 and again, that's only going to be good for the next 48 hours. After that, though, you can use our regular coupon code, which is 2 Crazy Ketos, which gets you, I think, 15% off. And you can use it on anything on the website with the exception of their like promotional bundles. You can't use it on that. Uh, but you can definitely use it on this MCT oil powder. So it's day three of this hot decaffeinated beverage known as tea and it has not yet turned into coffee. I don't know why I expected it to turn into coffee, but it has not. However, I have to have a hot beverage today because outside my door is the first signs of cool weather. Like it's almost fall out there. So yeah, I have to celebrate it with like a hot beverage and this is the best that I have. Ooh, it's hot. Sorry about the hat and the no makeup thing, but I'm about to go on a bike ride and I figure why get all gussied up to just sweat. So you get safari, Rachel. Maybe we'll see an elephant out there today. Well, that was really cool. We don't usually come to racetrack. I usually go to Wawa. We're only here like once every couple weeks and I'm not usually getting coffee here, uh, but I got my coffee. I put my MCT powder in it and they had the Calfia Farms almond milk creamers like out on display for you to be able to use. So you don't have to just use milk or heavy cream or half and half. They actually never have heavy cream out. They only have like half and half or the different flavor creamers. But they had the almond milk Calfia Farms, which is awesome because I love that stuff. It's only 15 calories and it's zero carbs. So I am so jazzed about this bike ride today because it is so nice outside. It's cool and crisp. It actually feels like fall. So let's get this thing started. So that was an awesome bike ride, but now it's time to get started on my housework. 
I get 15 carbs today and I know where two are coming from because I got to get started. So cheers to your morning. Baby shower punch. So one of the downsides to being a landscaper in South Florida that's on keto, you don't get to enjoy all of the delicious fruit that's growing in my customers' properties. So this gentleman will not drink water out of a bowl. I have to stand here every single day, turn on the faucet so that he can feel it run down the back of his neck and then shake it out all over the place. But this is the only way that he will drink water. He has to have it touch his fur on the back of his head. So I don't know what Rachel was talking about that it's nice and cool outside, but my car is showing 89 degrees and I am pouring sweat. I am so excited about this Abby and Sullivan white pumpkin fragrance oil I got at Tuesday morning for just $3.99. It smells so much like pumpkin pie and I just can't wait to get my fall on. Look, even these birds are like, tell me more. That seems interesting. I have to be honest, guys. I have been super frustrated lately. Normally, my weight is somewhere between 181 and 183 pounds. And for the last couple of weeks, I'm hovering somewhere between like 186 and 189. There's even times where I've gotten up in the morning or like in the evening and I've been well over 190 pounds. And this is the heaviest weight that I have been in two years. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the reverse diet. I don't know if it's I'm not getting enough sleep. I don't know if it's because I'm super stressed or if it's just a combination of all three things, but something is going on because my diet really hasn't changed. I mean, I'm eating eggs, ground beef. I'm eating like a lot of leafy greens or I'm not even eating a lot of them because, you know, if we don't have any, I don't eat it. The one thing I've learned though is I think broccoli is contributing to it. Anytime I eat broccoli, when I wake up in the morning, I feel really bloated. And I can't even blame this on the scale, you know, that Rachel calls the double scale because I'm seeing it in my face. I'm looking at my face and it seems really bloated. And, you know, I'm feeling my clothes, or at least my shirts are a little bit tighter. You know, I did that, you know, like 48 hour fast a couple of weeks ago and I dropped 10 pounds. So I'm definitely retaining a lot of water, but I don't know what's going on. And it's almost putting me into like a depression mode. And I've got to get this under control because I'm getting really frustrated with it. to clean the kitchen. Waterloo, Baby, I just want you to know that the entire time I am with T, I am thinking about you and you alone. Oh, oh my bad. Oh, this just got awkward. What's in the mail today? What's in the mail today? Oh my goodness, I am so excited for the mail. Now, ordinarily, I would never open this up without Joe, but look, it already came open. So I'm really hoping nobody fell out, but look what's inside. Two Crazy Keto's Blender Bottle. Oh my gosh, they came out so cute. I'm so excited. Coming to a website near you. So we just got done cutting lawns um, home. Looks like we got a couple of packages I saw show up on our ring. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take a shower, and then I'm gonna shoot some videos with Rachel. So how bad is my coffee brain right now? Well, I planned on washing the clothes with this free sample of Downy Unstoppables that I got from the store. I guess I did achieve that. I washed it with the laundry. I just forgot to open up the package. One of the staples on a reverse diet has been our homemade egg salad. So I'm gonna make some hard boiled eggs. We've started just keeping them always ready to go in the refrigerator. And finally, after a lot of trial and error, I figured out the way to make the perfect egg every single time. They're never overcooked and they peel super easy and it's using our Instant Pot. So let me show you how I do it. 
Okay, we're gonna use the Nelly's free range eggs. We usually use the Vital Farms or one of the other pasture rates, but these were on sale at our local store like last week for $2.50 a dozen. So we bought 12 dozen, so that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna open these up. And then we've got our Instant Pot. I got this little like trivet pull out thing. Got it at Amazon. I love this thing because it makes it easy to pull everything out. So we're just going to, we have about a cup of water in the bottom and we're gonna place our eggs in. The only thing you wanna make sure when you're using this thing is don't let the point stick through and touch the bottom of the pan. So we're gonna just put all the eggs in here. Make sure it is on seal. And then here we go, we're gonna go pressure cook. Two minutes, that's all you need. We're gonna go two minutes, let it build up pressure, cook. Then we're going to slow release for five minutes and then we're going to put it in an ice bath when it's done. Past the two minute mark and now it's counting back up and when this gets to five, we're going to quick release the rest of it. We're at the five minute mark, so now we're gonna go ahead and quick release the rest of it. And we'll hit cancel. Okay, now we're just going to simply take this. And here's what I like about this piece. Lift them all up carefully so they don't all fall out. Right into my ice bath. And then I can just take this like this and kind of look at that. Perfect. I was even able to do it with one hand. So we're gonna let this sit in here for about five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes. Let's go ahead and see how easy these are to peel. See, ready? Look at that. Now here is the test. You ready? Break one open. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect yellow. So it's 2.20, we're in the middle of filming our jalapeno popper balls. recipe, balls recipe. And uh, while we're waiting for those to cook, we're gonna start eating our first meal. Keto chow! So Rachel's having an eggnog keto chow, and I'm having a raspberry, and then I'm also gonna have some keto brick along with that. So we're waiting for the first batch of our, there they are now, <laughs> chicken poppers to finish cooking. So we're gonna have to cut this short to go finish filming that. But here's what I'm eating for lunch. Like I said, I'm having a keto chow. This is the raspberry cheesecake with three and a half tablespoons of butter. And then I'm going to have two of my keto brick pucks. And I am going to eat this. What is that? So this is a one keto chow and this is one keto chow. So in other words, this is not our keto chow ice cream that we did the recipe no, for. this is ice. This is that. just like one of these mixed with a whole bunch of ice. So it's kind of like keto chow ice milk. It's so good. What are you drinking over there? Because you're not drinking coffee. I'm not drinking coffee. What I do is I put hot water in the blender to get the rest of the keto chow out and drink it as like a hot beverage. Like hot milk. And then for my keto bricks, by the way, I've got a new thing. So I melted down, like I had a peanut butter one that I had melted down, which I only have a couple of pucks left. Then I had a half of a cookies and cream one that I melted down because I was just eating like bricks by the half. But I like doing it this way because I know exactly what, I, each one of these pucks is 125 calories. Nice. So I know exactly what I'm getting. And then I melted down a cinnamon one. So here's my new thing. I'm playing keto brick roulette. So I'm pretty sure this is a peanut butter one because it's like a darker color and there's no cacao nibs in it. So I'm going to eat two of these for lunch. And then for dinner, we're having... Top sirloin steak, what? which we got from Butcher Box. Oh man. So there's a link down below if you're interested in Butcher Box. And then we're having our egg salad. And then I've got to eat a bunch more keto bricks because it's just easier. I've got a game that I've got to get to. I've got to leave my game at 3.30, so in about an hour. And then uh, I'm on, we're gonna have our egg salad with our, our homemade mayonnaise. It's so good. And then what else? To, oh, I'm gonna eat a half. Well, talk about discipline. I'm gonna eat a half of a perfect keto bar on my way to the game. Do you think you can actually just eat a half? I'm actually gonna cut it in half and only take half with me, but I need the extra fat. I need the extra calories. That gives me a bunch of energy for, I'm gonna eat it like with this meal within the next hour and then we really like to finish eating like by about six o'clock, yeah. but I'm not gonna be home from my game till 6.30, so we're probably gonna eat at like seven o'clock or something like that. So that'll be the end of our eating for the day, but we'll show you what we eat a little bit later on. The worst part about drinking keto chow is when you get to the end. 
that's going to be a much longer span of time for me. <laughs> a lot of times I'll actually take water and rinse it out and then drink the water. I know some people ask us like, why do we use keto chow? Sometimes it's just easy. It's very fast. I like the fact that, hey, I don't feel like cooking or it's just the two of us and we're not going to pull something out. We always have a few of these ready to go in the refrigerator. And having these makes it that we don't make a stupid mistake or a stupid decision and eat something we're not supposed to eat. Yeah, it's already ready to go. And unlike some things that you may meal prep, it tastes better the longer it is sitting in your refrigerator. So it's time for me to head out to my game. I've got a JV game over at Pinecrest School and I'm taking along a half of a keto bar, the cinnamon roll flavor. I love these things, but unfortunately, I can only fit this many carbs in my macros for the rest of the day. So I'm going to really enjoy it. And again, the next 48 hours, we've got a 20% off of a $40 more purchase. The link is down below in the description. I love these things. I wish I could eat the whole bar. This is some real discipline. Okay, quick survey. Am I the only one that after they're done eating the keto bar, undoes the wrapper and licks all of the fat off? You just gotta get all of that fat. Well, it's dinner time. It is, and I am ready for dinner. How was your day? It was good, it was full. We got a lot done. I definitely feel like we got a lot done. I got my cutting done this morning. I came home, Rachel like scrubbed the house. It's I exercised. It's, oh, you exercised. I did. The house smells great. You're on day three of no coffee. I don't know how this is happening. I don't know how you're doing it, but I'm super proud of you. Thank you. Then we did a review video for the Real Good Pizza Cauliflower Crust. Which you guys have to tell us if you even want it. Yeah, we're not gonna tell you what we thought of it. Let us know down in the comment section if we should even bother releasing that. It's definitely interesting. I'll give you that much. Then we did a cooking video on the real good, a copy of the real good uh, jalapeno poppers. Balls. Balls. They're balls. We filmed this video. I went and did my game. You took the kids from youth to youth group. So I think we've earned dinner. We definitely earned dinner. And you didn't even tell me. I came home from my game and I found these. You didn't tell me they came. I am so sorry, but you'll find out in the video, hey, they came. And also they came in an open box. So I'm oh, really- So I can't yell at you for opening the box. No, 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 yeah, I did not open There's it. a standing rule. Rachel's not allowed to open boxes that come because like there could be a surprise for her. Like brains. Or I could just get yelled at for getting something that she didn't really want, like brains. Yeah, or there could be a new pet. You don't know. We definitely need a new pet. So these are blender bottles, the official blender bottles. They say 2KK, the 2KK logo, 2 Crazy Kidos. I think they came out so good. They came out really good. I love the color. Me and they too. got the little blender ball in there. So we're going to put these on our website as soon as I can figure out how to put them on the website. Everything's um, a learning experience. Yeah, we we had to buy a bunch of them to get them at a decent price. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think I think we said they're going to be twenty dollars, yeah. including shipping. We're yes. gonna, we want to keep them as low as possible. Uh, but just keep your eye out. We'll let you know. Um, we're going to put them on the website, and I think we're also going to have one of these in our five thousand subscriber box, right? Absolutely. So, I'm so glad they came in time. Yeah, we got that. We were waiting for a couple of other things as well. You want to go over dinner real quick? Yeah. Okay. So I made dinner while you were gone. So I guess Thank I'm going to go through what we got. So we each have a top sirloin from uh, where do we? A uh, butcher box. These came in butcher box. <laughs> where did this come They're from? They're about six ounces a piece. They're beautiful. Rachel's is the thicker one because Rachel likes hers like almost rare, like bleeding. Yes. Just knock off the horns, wipe its dirty butt, and put it on the plate. <laughs> we have about one and a half tablespoons a piece of browned butter. So I cooked them in a cast iron. I didn't feel like starting up the grill or anything like that or the wow. sous vide. Okay. So after I cooked them on my cast iron, I put some butter in there to brown it up, get all the seasoning off of the bottom Fancy. of the pan. Poured it over the top. So for me, I have, this is our egg salad, which the recipe is going to be on our website and we're going to do a video it's about it. It's so good. Super easy to make. So I have four uh, pasture-raised eggs mm -hmm. with uh, two and a half tablespoons of our uh, homemade mayonnaise, which if you've not seen that video, it's right up here. Got to make that. It's super easy. Believe me, if you've tried to make mayonnaise and you weren't able to do it, Follow that. I guarantee you'll be able to do it. Anybody can do it. And it only takes like 30 seconds. Which I love. And there's no cleanup. So it's got like celery in it. We use uh, the Trader Joe's uh, everything with the bagel seasoning. And it's on a little bit of a bed of lettuce. Then I've got 
two keto bricks, and I played roulette again. I think one of these is the cinnamon, and one of them is the cookies and cream. And I have one, and I'm guessing my roulette ended on peanut butter. You got peanut butter. Well, I dug the peanut butter out because I know you like the peanut butter, Thank and there was only you. one peanut butter left. Thank you. Rachel's got the same amount of steak. She's got three eggs. Drinking a bubbly. Yeah. Three eggs. She's got a little bit more of the greens than me because I also had the perfect keto bar. And you only ate half. I only ate half of it. It was kind of like a teaser. It was funny. We passed each other. Like I was coming home from something. He was leaving for something. And he's like hanging it out the window going, look, I'm only eating half. I had to cut half and bring it with me. Otherwise, there was no way I was finished. And then, of course, I was licking the wrapper. I'm becoming you. You're super classy. Okay. Let's, real quick because I'm hungry. Oh, and I'm having a polar... Essence of fresh lime seltzer water. It's very unique, that one. I really like this one. It's like cherry, it's too. Tart cherry limeade. Okay, so mine is 2,127 calories. This is for the entire day. Okay. Out of 2,107, so I'm 20 calories over. Super nice. happy with that. 124 grams of protein. I'm allotted 123. Um, 173 grams of fat. I'm allotted 173. Good job. So good on that. 6.8 net carbs, 20 total carbs. Wow. Okay, so for me, I have 1,549 out of the 1,554 calories. So I'm actually... Six calories short. Six calories short. That's awesome. 100 out of 85 protein. So I'm way up on my protein, but stay. Yeah, you're way up on your protein, but remember what I said, that Savage said if you go low on the carbs, go up on the protein to hit your calories, and you'll see why in a minute. So um, for fat, I'm 124 out of the 128 grams that I have allotted. And I am at, oh my gosh, for the day, 2.6 net carbs. No wonder I'm getting some more protein. Yeah, because you're only it. at 11.6 total carbs. And I'm supposed to have 15. Yeah. Total carbs. Well, sort of. Remember, we're doing like your oh, lettuce, lettuce, that kind of stuff doesn't count. But so. still, that's awesome. So this is what we eat for a day. And again, like we said earlier, sometimes we have keto chow, sometimes we don't, sometimes we have keto bricks. Busy days, it's just easy. I want to see, like, cut down the middle of your steak and let me know if it's rare enough. It's perfect. I can tell so, you right now. So I'm going to show mine. So this is how mine came out. I think it's perfect. Gorgeous. And this, I can't wait to taste this with the, the butter. One taste and then we'll sign off. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Good job. <laughs> okay, so that, like I said, is our, our full day of eating. Let us know if you like these. We'll keep them up. Try yep. to do at least one a week. And also, what's your uh, soundtrack for cleaning your house? <laughs> that's a good one. Don't forget, uh, the next 48 hours, that's today, Thursday, and tomorrow, Friday. You guys are seeing this on Thursday. Perfect Keto has given us a 20% off of a $40 or more purchase. The coupon code and the link are down in the description. Um, so we're super excited about that. It's good on anything on the site other than the bundles. Okay. But you can use it on MCT powder. You can use it on the bars, anything like that. There's also a link down there for the butcher box. Um, we have a video coming out soon on what exactly comes in a butcher box. Yeah, because we had absolutely no idea what came in a mixed box. Yeah, we ordered the mixed box and uh, this was one of the things that were in there. So do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.